Good evening, I'm Sheikh Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Ramehi, stressed the ministry's keenness on tapping the youth's capabilities and creative potentials. Speaking during his participation in the open meeting and concluding ceremony of the on-air festival organized by the University of Bahrain's Media Club, he underlined the youth's outstanding contribution to developing work at the Ministry of Information and other sectors. He paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their unwavering support to the youth's efforts and role in contributing to development in all fields. The Information Minister underlined the freedom of expression in Bahrain, which is guaranteed by the Constitution and constantly stressed by His Majesty the King. He also pointed out the government's keenness on boosting it without contravening the traditions and ethics of the Bahraini community. He advised the media and public relations students of the University of Bahrain to work hard on honing their talents and academic skills and enrich their experience by participating in various academic functions. The minister then honored the festival's sponsors, participants and winners, wishing them a further success. The Kingdom of Bahrain concluded today the 26th edition of the Heritage Festival. More in this report with Muhammad Youssef. Muharraq, the capital of Islamic culture, concluded today its various cultural activities that was held during the 26th edition of the Heritage Festival in Arad Fort under the title Memory of Muharraq. The festival began on the 25th of April under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. I am a participant in the Heritage Festival that is under Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. She gives us an opportunity and a chance to uh, keep our products here to show that Bahraini women can actually uh, be part of the heritage and culture uh, of the festival itself. The festival included a number of traditional handicraft works that are still practiced by skilled Bahrainis as well as a number of traditional shops. We participated here as uh, vendors um, in the old market section. Uh, we're here selling the um, Arab uh, coffee makers. So that's the part where it has to do with our tradition and uh, heritage but with a modern touch. The festival introduced traditional elements and presented the rich heritage of the kingdom. It reflects a commitment to showcasing authentic Bahraini culture and preserving it for future generations. I'm quite enjoying being here. It's very, very nice, you know, uh, as I'm is interested in history of cultures and things. I, I live with my husband in Spain. I'm not Spanish. Uh, I, have, I joined the History Society there to learn more, and I like to learn about places I go to. The event also delivered a number of live performances, various activities and workshops that reflect the tradition of the Kingdom of Bahrain. This event aims to showcase the tradition and the rich heritage of the Kingdom of Bahrain, as well as the deep history of the city of Muharraq. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef.